We got this donation of all these fashion advertisements and fashion illustrations, and they range from the 1920s to the 1960s. So what I've been doing is I've been going through all of them and cataloging them by date, artist, um, medium, and um, kind of providing some extra info and facts. It was really interesting to see how things were marketed during different times and what was considered important um, during different times. So, you know, during the Great Depression, things weren't necessarily as trendy. Clothing became a lot more simple and subdued because people couldn't afford to buy with every trend as they had done in the past. So things were marketed as more um, timeless investments. Whereas in the 1920s, this was a time of excess. We have a lot of resources in the way of print. So it was a lot of looking in the library, looking at books that we have here in the collection and that Professor Carey has. Um, we have the Vogue archives online, which was helpful because I was able to look at lots of additional advertisements that were uh, online. And of course, if I still didn't know, Professor Carey is such a great resource and I was able to go to her and ask what she thought and she always has such great insight with these kinds of things. This is the second research project that Alex has conducted with the LaSalle Fashion Collection. And so this provided her a unique opportunity to work with our first assortment of vintage uh, fashion advertising. This particular project will result in an online catalog of vintage advertising. The donation from Mr. and Mrs. Frederick Sharp was just a really great donation. It can be used with so many majors, I think. You know, creative advertising can look at how things were advertised, marketed, um, anybody who's looking to get into marketing, all the fashion design concentrations. So I think that what they've done is really great and I hope that we're using it the way that they had